Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate Teaches English. Today's video we're going to be talking about possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. So in a previous video we discussed possessive adjectives. Today we're going to be seeing how possessive adjectives relate to possessive pronouns. Starting with first person singular, my shirt is white. Another way that we can say that if we're talking about who the shirt belongs to, we would say the shirt is mine. Second person singular, your computer is new. So this is when you're talking directly to one person. You could also say to that person, the computer is yours. Somebody asks, whose computer is this? Does it belong to him? Does it belong to her? No, it belongs to you. The computer is yours. Next, we have her blanket is soft. So this is third person singular for she. Uh, we could also say the blanket is hers. So who does it belong to? Next, his dog is big. Whose dog are we talking about? We're talking about third person singular, he. So the dog is his. Next, we have it's bed is old. So maybe we're talking about a cat, maybe we're talking about a dog. We are not going to have a possessive pronoun for this. Those will just have the possessive adjectives. Then we have us. So now we're getting into the plural form for we. This would be first person plural. Our house is quiet. There's not a lot of noise. So who does the house belong to? It belongs to us. So the house is ours. And the last one we have would be third person plural. Their car is fast. Who does the car belong to? Belongs to them. So the car is theirs. Let's go over a few examples now. Number one, these textbooks are my textbooks. So if we look up top, first person singular, my shirt is white, the shirt is mine. As a way of not repeating again, the shirt is my shirt, we replace that with mine. So we're gonna do the same here. These textbooks are my textbooks, these textbooks are mine. Okay, so number two, we didn't find our keys. If we already know we're talking about the keys, we don't have to reference it. We can just say we didn't find ours because we know that it's going to be in the first person plural form. And number three. He left his phone at home. We're talking about he, so this is going to be like the third person singular. He left his at home. Okay, now let's do some extra practice. Okay, everybody. We're going to do some extra practice. Feel free to pause the video and try these on your own and we'll check together after. Number one is long. The dress is, so in this case we're referring to third person singular, she. So for third person singular, she, the possessive adjective is going to be Her. In this case, you would say her, her dress is long. Now we're going to say the possessive pronoun. So the dress is hers. Number two, kitchen pantry is full. The kitchen pantry is we're talking about we. So first person plural. And a kitchen pantry is where we keep all of our food. That might be your cereal, 
oatmeal, chips, dips, cans. So for we, we're going to be talking about our. Our kitchen pantry is full. The kitchen pantry is ours. Number three, bone is slobbery. We're talking about the dog. So the dog, that's gonna be third person singular and it'll be its. Its bone is slobbery. Slobbery is when you see the dog start to salivate that saliva is dripping from their mouth and the, gets all over the bone, it's nasty. Number four, fancy car is here. The fancy car is, we're talking about they. So third person plural. Their fancy car is here. The fancy car is theirs. And number five, breakfast is ready. The breakfast is, and in this case, we're talking about you. Yeah, we're talking about you right now. So your breakfast is ready. The breakfast is yours. So I hope you enjoy your breakfast. Maybe it's some good eggs, oatmeal, pancakes, bacon, fruit, whatever it is. Enjoy it. And I hope you enjoyed this video too. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.